Are you a senior in high school getting ready for college applications? Are you confused about which application to submit, either through the Common Application or the Coalition? In this video, we'll go over the differences between the two and help you make a better choice. Hi, I'm Rebecca M. Carroll with The Coaching Educator. And I'm Corey Johnson with Corey J. Speaker. Together, we have over 25 years of helping students get into and succeed at the right school. Let's talk about how they're similar. Both applications are free to register into. However, there are fees associated with different colleges and universities. The Common Application has approximately 900 colleges and universities accepting that application while the coalition has 140 colleges and universities accepting that application. Know that all Ivy League schools are attached or accepting the common application and most accept the coalition. However, Dartmouth and the University of Virginia are no longer members of the coalition, hence they will not accept that application. The common app allows you to apply to up to 20 schools or universities. The coalition does not have a limit. The common app has an activities section, and this is kind of the big difference where the common app has an activity section, the coalition has the locker. The activity section on the common app has limited characters, so you really have to have an airtight description of each activity. And what we recommend is that you put your highest priority activity at the top, the one that you were most involved with. The coalition, many students find it to be a little easier to describe their uniqueness in the sense of they can load into this cloud-based server things like their, their resume, um, an award they may have received, a community service project that they had fulfilled, and they can really, really go into detail. So that is very appealing in that sense. Now, the common application is definitely a time saver because there's 900 or so colleges and universities accepting that application. It is an application based on the supplements of the colleges that you apply to. So there may be supplemental or additional information that needs to be provided. Now, the coalition was intended to help underserved populations by FAFSA standards, meaning families or students who are in financial need. They only allow colleges to accept through the coalition application if they provide substantial financial aid. The bottom line is both require thoughtful time and energy. Both have quite an extensive essay and they have supplemental essays depending upon the college or university that you have applied to. And most application fees can be waived if you have an SAT or an ACT waiver. So I would encourage you to watch our quick video on how to apply for an SAT or an ACT waiver. And have those application fees waived. So big question. If you are still not sure about which application to fill out, Coalition or Common App, Subscribe to our video channel, comment below so that we can provide you more insights into getting into the right college for you to succeed at. And thank you for watching.